Welcome back to Harvest Moon A Wonderful Life. We are kind of just waiting for our cow to give birth. I think once that is done, oh like we will hopefully be able to do the Starry Night Festival as well as as well. And then I may skip ahead just a tiny bit, maybe, but we'll see how it goes. Um, because I think my cow is so close to giving birth, and I really want to share that with you guys because I think it's gonna be so cute and I can't wait to have a little baby cow we actually seem to have quite a lot of like stuff in our inventory considering we have not even played through a year of the game it just feels like I have a lot of items <laughs> I guess that's a good thing so in the last episode right at the end we managed to unlock the pond so let's go check that out I mean there's not much to see but you can see down here we have a lovely little pond <laughs> the grass is in the way so it's like I can't really show it very well, but there is a pond down there. <laughs> so yeah, it means that in the second year, we can have ducks. So that's gonna be really, really awesome. So yeah, I'm basically just saving up money now. It looks like I don't have to water my plants today, which is nice, very nice. I think I'm going to get another cow next. I think, I'm not really sure like what else to work towards. So, so I think a cow would be good because the upgrades take a while and I don't really feel like that desperate for the upgrades right now anyway oh good job I went in here because these guys need some food so let's make sure that we give them something to munch on all right there you go my lovelies I'll be back later to collect my eggs <laughs> hopefully they'll lay me some nice glorious tasty eggs that would be nice right that'd be really cool okay it's not going to be too much longer until we can get married which I am excited about actually it's going to be really awesome I don't really know what's going to happen just yet I think I have an idea who will actually like come to my house because there is one character that we've seen all the heart events for and not the rest so I'm assuming it's going to be that person who visits us <laughs> I'm assuming I didn't actually know this at first but apparently in this game um, once you have seen like a certain amount of heart events with one girl it locks out the heart events for the other ones which is why we never did get that last one with Celia and we never did manage to oh no he was asleep I'm sorry Shifo <laughs> and yeah we never did manage to get very many heart events with Nami either so you'd have to do a whole another playthrough to see those events events I guess you could save it before you got to like a certain point with the heart events for the girls and then reload it somehow but I don't know how far into the heart events it is before it locks you out I've got no idea so I guess there is a way that you could do that but honestly I think it's going to more than likely take a couple of playthroughs uh, for the average person to actually see all the heart events with all the girls and I did not know that that was a thing actually I guess I just like didn't really pay attention in my other playthroughs so yeah that kind of sucks a little bit because it's gonna be a bit of work to see all the other ones for sure but that's okay all right let's make sure we brush our cows I'm having a real hard uh, time as well like I'm not sure like I'm trying to think of who I would pick and I think that the bachelorettes in this game are all quite solid and all quite likable so like I'm not really sure there's not a bachelorette in this game that I'm like I really don't like that one I really don't want to marry that one so yeah like they're all really really cool in this game and I really do like all of them they're all really awesome and I think you know it's cool that um that your child actually has a different personality as well depending on who you marry so it's really really cool I guess you could base who you want to marry off of your child's personality if you wanted to some people do it like that maybe but I'm not really sure it's a tough decision it's a tough decision all right let's move this character around let's see I'm gonna talk to you and give you a nice hug there you go make you nice and happy it's nice and relaxing today because it is raining too it was raining in real life not too long ago as well it just like all of a sudden just came down like a rock it and then left again. 
<laughs> and I was like, okay, <laughs> very random indeed, but that is life, right? <laughs> it's a very random, a very random world, <laughs> for sure. Okay, so I don't know, is my dog okay? I think my dog's okay. Are you in there? You're in there, look at him. He's so cute. Oh, let's go have a little look. Oh, hello, little doggo. He doesn't move. <laughs> he doesn't even like, he's not even breathing. <laughs> he's not moving at all. <laughs> He's a statue. <laughs> that doesn't seem real. That doesn't seem realistic. <laughs> That's okay though. Hello guys. How's it going Chrissy? Good morning. I don't like commuting into the city when it's cold. Don't go then. <laughs> you can see some very pretty stars above the waterfall. You can? Oh, nice. Okay, cool. I'll have to yeah. keep an eye out for that. Good morning, my friend. If you run in the winter, your body will warm up. This is very true. Uh, here, the snow falls heavily. It's not even fun to run. Ah, so even while he has his bad days where he doesn't want to, uh, to run around, I suppose. Is it a Vaughn day today? I think it... No, it's not. It's tomorrow. Okay, Vaughn is tomorrow. I'll keep that in mind. Okay, let's go and look for some goodies. That would be good. I think the rain is stopping. I could go and grab my horse. That would be good. I might do that on the way back, actually. Let's see if Cody has any new dialogue for us today. I want to see if he's got anything to say. Hey, dude. Hi. How are you? Nature changes with the seasons, but my work is constant. Maybe that's a problem. All right. I need more time. Anything else, dude? I need more time. Okay, maybe he would say more if we befriended him. I don't know. I haven't actually befriended Cody. I don't think we're quite friends yet, actually. I would like to befriend him at some point, though. That would be really cool, but um, yeah, <laughs> it's okay for now. It's not a rush. It's not a big deal. What? Oh, good morning. Hello, Nami. I wonder what it feels like to sleep the whole winter. I know, right? I wonder as well. <laughs> I mean, it probably doesn't feel like anything, though, because you're asleep. <laughs> you don't really feel anything when you're asleep, right? <laughs> I don't think so. Anyways, you don't even, you're not even aware, really, of anything when you're asleep. It's weird. Sleep is a funny thing, right? A very funny thing. Is there not anything up here to collect? I guess not. Okay, then. <laughs> let's head back then I suppose I thought there would be some things for me to collect today but clearly I was totally wrong so that's a little sad but that's okay okay then let's see I'm going to go and pick up my horse and then I think we'll go to the dig site try and get some money because we are so poor right now like I don't even have a hundred G so I couldn't even give poor old Murray some money <laughs> which was really really sad can't even give him some money to go home to popo valley <laughs> no all right so let's call all our animals outside there you go my friends get out in the fresh air and have some lovely sunshine <laughs> my sheep is very happy when isn't my sheep happy though my sheep is always happy he's a very happy little guy so that's awesome okay we have um some things to collect here for sure is there anything around this side I don't think so that raccoon is there again look how cute he is little guy he's not even moving are you all right over there are you okay little guy let's see where are you there you are oh <laughs> so cute <laughs> The little animals are cute. I like how they've added them in. Just a nice little like touch to the atmosphere of the game. I like that they added little wild animals and stuff. That's a really cool. You can see Muku Muku from here as well. <laughs> He's just strolling about in the springs taking in the fresh air and the sunshine <laughs> and doing his thing doing his muku muku thing i guess i don't think we're going to get any more cutscenes with that with daryl because i think they only appear in the full time so i'm hoping that they will trigger next year instead because I don't think we'll get any more now, which is a little sad, but that's okay. All right, time to do some digging, and we'll see if we can get some money together, because I still need to get quite a bit, so we'll see how it goes, though. That would be great. All right, let's see what we got here. Give me something awesome. Give me something good. I found a fossil. 
I'm kind of into like gaming franchises at the moment. I'm not sure why. I guess I just like want to play through more categories of games instead of like playing through random games, which is what I do a lot of. I jump between like all random things and never really stick to much of the same thing very often. So yeah, I think it's really cool because I've been playing a lot of Harvest Moon. So that's been really cool. And I've been really, really enjoying just sticking to like like one thing and I kind of like I'm a bit tempted to do the same thing with maybe Zelda or something I don't really know just yet definitely Dragon Quest but I'm kind of interested in Zelda as well so we will see what happens there are so many choices for gaming out there these days that it's really hard to choose what I want to play half the time. And the backlog is big and never ending and it never goes away and I always have more than I could ever play. <laughs> It's definitely a crazy time to be a gamer, but also an awesome time. I, it's just like crazy to think like where gaming, gaming would be, I don't know, like maybe a hundred years time or maybe a couple hundred years time. I think gaming would be amazing. I kind of wish that I was, you know, gonna live to see that. <laughs> I've already seen some amazing things, you know, with gaming, like VR, and um, there was Kinect. I really liked Kinect when that came out for the Xbox. That was really cool. Uh, but then, like, it kind of died because, like, they didn't make any more games for it. There was, like, barely any games for Kinect. I feel like the same thing happened with the PS Vita, <laughs> sadly. I really loved the PS Vita, and... Uh, just PlayStation just did not give it love and it's so sad to see because there's some really cool games on there. I think my favourite game on the PS Vita was Destiny of Spirits. I loved that game. I don't even know why I loved it so much but it was so cool. It was a free to play game. Um, it was completely online though and they shut their servers down quite a few years ago but it was kind of like a game where you would collect little spirits um it's kind of like a loot boxy thing but you would get like free spirits a day and stuff but I don't know I really enjoyed it I don't really enjoy very many games like that but that one was definitely an exception for me I really really liked it <laughs> it was really cool really cool game definitely one of my favorites and also another one of my favorites would be Doki Doki Universe I really loved that game too that game was awesome <laughs> such a cool little game it's like a little point and click game about an alien who um he oh, it's so long ago that I played it now but he like travels to different planets and he like helps people along the way and it's such a wholesome just really nice chill game to play and I absolutely love that game I just I guess I just feel a bit sad because Sony like announced the closure of the PS Vita a while back they went back on it though so like they're not doing it anymore but they were thinking about it and like that's really sad because you know I I get the feeling that they're going to try it again like one of these days and I love the PS Vita so much so it'll be really sad. There's even a couple of Harvest Moon games on the Vita as well because like it's hard to get hold of copies of Harvest Moon right? Like um, these days you have to dig out an old console or you have to you know get an emulator to, to play them so it's not easy to play them. There's only a couple of you know Harvest Moon games that have been ported. Um, this this is one of them. This is on the PS4. Um, Harvest Moon A Wonderful Life Special Edition is on the PS4. So there are a couple. I think Save the Homeland is on PS4 as well. And on the Vita there is Harvest Moon Back to Nature, Save the Homeland. There was, I'm sure there was some more as well. There was a couple. So yeah, like it's really sad because there was actually Harvest Moon games on the Vita as well. So <laughs> sad times, sad times, but it is what it is, I guess. All right, I think we're done. <laughs> Alrighty, we got a couple of things. So that was cool. All right, that's nice. Okay, hopefully we can make some money out of that because we really need to make some. It was raining as well, but it stopped now because I manipulated the weather with the dig site. 
<laughs> but that's all right. All right, we are done. Sweet. All right, let's continue. Let's wake my horse up. You can't be sleeping, Mr. Horsey. We have things to do. <laughs> we have things to do for sure. But yeah, tomorrow in this game, I may just like maybe like converse with the villagers a little bit or something i feel like i haven't done a massive amount of that so maybe that would be really cool actually to do and maybe a bit of fishing as well because we've done a lot in the dig site recently and i'm starting to get a little bit bored of going into the dig site so i think i want to mix it up with just something a little bit a little bit different i don't even need to water my plants right now so what else am i gonna do <laughs> i don't even know i got no cows to milk <laughs> sadly i guess i'll just hug my cows and stuff oh yeah i could get some eggs from my chickens can't i so yeah we could we could do that that would be cool that would be awesome actually let's go check on my chickies see if they're okay i should have an egg right there we go i got a lovely egg today very nice indeed just what i was looking for so that is awesome <laughs> yay Alrighty. okay i guess we could do a bit of fishing before we call it a night it's a little bit too early to go to bed now i mean i can go to bed and then just sleep again i suppose if i really wanted to but nah let's just do a bit of fishing whilst we're here anyway because that would be cool we'll see if we can get some big ones to sell or something van is coming tomorrow so it would be good to try and get as much as we can before Van arrives. That would be awesome. I'm also going to see if I can trigger a cutscene with Van tomorrow as well. Because there is one with him when he goes to the inner inn. It just depends on whether he goes in there. Because he doesn't always. So it's going to depend on that. But I don't think there's too many like more cutscenes or anything like that to trigger. I think we've seen most of them. So I'm not quite sure if there's any like things like that to do sadly we have seen quite a lot of them there will be more cutscenes in the second chapter which we're really close to now all right fishy where are you oh my gosh not not taking the bait today huh <laughs> we're gonna get a new fishing rod next year as well i haven't got one yet because you have to get it from galen and you only get it in year two from galen so we have to wait a little bit longer but i'm happy with the progress that we've made we even got a seed maker from daryl so that was awesome very happy with that and that thing is so useful maybe i should check my seed maker actually see if i've actually got anything that i can plant or something that would give me something to do <laughs> give me something to kill at time with possibly <laughs> okay let's see what we've got here we got a we got a live one what is it we got a colombo those things don't sell for very well like they don't sell for very much at all so i'm a little bit gutted that we didn't get something a little bit better but that's the way it goes i guess i suppose but yes i'm so excited for hybrid crop can't wait to do that that's gonna be so fun really fun okay I've nearly got another fishy come on you little little pest <laughs> I gotcha all right hopefully maybe get one more fish for today I got a snout this time okay I don't know if those sell for a lot or not I can't really remember to be honest with you but we got another one so that is good let's see if we can get one more fish for tonight that would be really good come on fishies <laughs> where you all at i gotta find you so i can make lots of money tomorrow that'd be good and then we'll check the seed maker and that will probably kill a bit of time so we don't wake up extremely extremely early because <laughs> that has happened a few times okay i got my nibble so that's awesome that's really cool all right are you gonna there we go i got you <laughs> yay all right what have we got this time another snout i seem to have gotten a few of those but that's okay oh mari is begging oh but i don't think i have any money i'm sorry mari i can't give you anything wait how much do i have let's see i got i got 28 i think i got 28 <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, I probably can give you 1G. <laughs> it's not much, but hey, 1G is better than no G, isn't it? <laughs> Let's give him 1G. I want to see my family again, but I have no money. Here's 1G. That helps. I hope you come back again. <laughs> Well, at least he wasn't like, huh, that's just like, not even worth taking. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let's uh, see what's going on in the blue bar today. Is anybody visiting? Wait, why is she crying? Do you see that? She was crying. Mm -hmm. Welcome, make yourself comfortable. A drink to revive yourself when you're tired is always nice. But why are you crying, Muffy? Griffin is the only one who knows how to make the drinks. I'm so confused. Did you see that? Am I, am I going crazy? I swear I saw her crying. How dare they hurt Muffy? She's too adorable. <laughs> Make yourself at home. Do you want to chat? Yes, let's chat. Let's see if he says anything else. Chat, chat, chat. All our drinks here are original creations. You'll feel great after you have one. Wow, did he make the menu as well? I wonder. I don't have money. <laughs> I literally have no money. I wouldn't drink any more if I were you. What? I have even had one drink. <laughs> I'm too poor to afford drinks. Gosh. Oh, is, is Rock going in there? Yeah. Uh, the fun is just getting yeah. started. Brr, it's cold. I know. I could go skiing or snowboarding that could be good sometimes i just want to rock the valley with a party this humdrum everyday life is too harsh for me gosh rock what is he like sometimes i just want to rock the valley with a party he is such a crazy dude <laughs> Crazy old rock for you. Okay, time to go home. I think I'm going to check to see if my seed makers are done. Come on, cow. You must be so close to giving birth now, right? Surely. I just want to see the birth. That would be so awesome. Have you eaten today? Okay, you've eaten today. Let's make sure that we give our cow a little bit more fodder there. There you go. Make sure that my cow eats all her fodder up because we got a baby to feed in there so gotta make sure that you know my cow is fed all right so we got quite a few bits and pieces from the seed maker here so let's take all of that i don't know if any of it will you know i don't know if we'll be able to plant any of it but We'll see what we can do. We'll see if any of it is available. So let's have a little look. Actually, it'll probably be easier if we go into this shed because it like shows all the seeds. Um, so this is fall to winter. So we could, we're only on the second, but then carrots do take a really long time. So I don't know, fall only, so we can't plant those. And strawberry is fall to spring. So we could definitely plant strawberries. I'm a bit like unsure about carrots because they take a really, really long time. Yeah, the growth rate is slow. I think we should wait with the carrots. I don't want to risk it, like just in case, but I think we should be okay with strawberries. Wait, wait, what's the growth rate? I think they still grow in spring though, don't they? Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure they'd still be okay, like in the springtime. So we should be fine to plant strawberries. So I'm going to go ahead and plant these up as well, just to give us some more produce so that we can cook more things because we need more things so that we can cook. And especially if we're going to do hybrid crops next year, we're going to need as many crops as we can get our hands on, right? So that's going to be really, really awesome. All right, there we go. Yay, the whole are gone I hate the holes so much <laughs> I'm just gonna plant like the rest of the strawberry seeds here I guess okay now it's time to do some watering that'd be great wherever my watering can may be I don't know it's gone missing watering can where are you did I go past it and I just like didn't see <laughs> I don't know oh there it is I probably like cycled past it a few times or something knowing me <laughs> totally blind do these not need watering i thought they did oh they don't really look like they need watering so we'll just leave them for now i mean it was raining like today so yeah that's probably why i think we're okay but we should be able to make tons of money tomorrow because van is of course visiting so that's going to be really really cool when that happens so it's time to go to bed we're going to continue on a little bit today and do a second day as well 
let's check the TV. TV shopping hour. Today's featured item is the Super Sealer Z. I feel like I've heard of this one. Wow, it looks so useful to have. Super Sealer Z is for storing away all those clothes and blankets you're not using. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that... Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've seen this one before. It was like this um silly thing where it's like this storage thing that's the size of sliced cheese apparently and you can fit like everything inside. <laughs> it sounds too good to be true if you ask me, but... <laughs> It is what it is. Alright, let's see what's on the TV today. Hello everyone, it's time for another music moment. Today's guest is a famous composer, Mr. Minoru Tanaka. Mr. Tanaka, you've had many hits. Which song do you personally think has the deepest feel in its lyrics and melody to you? Hmm, I'd have to say it was my debut song. It was Walk With You, right? That's right, the singer really tied it all together. She's my wife now, as you might know. Aha, how sweet of you. Now let's all check out Walk With You, sung by our special guest himself, Mr. Tanaka, walking with you along the path. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> so cheesy. <laughs> Wow, so cute. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Tanaka, that's all for today. See you next time. Well, that was wholesome. <laughs> so that was cute. All right, then. Let's see what today brings us. Maybe our cow will give birth today. I just really want it to happen. I'm just, I guess, a little impatient. I want it to happen already. Come on, give birth, darn you. <laughs> give birth already. She hasn't even eaten yet it's so early right now we could probably water the crops they probably are gonna need watering today to be fair you can see the like random two crops that I watered yesterday but they probably definitely need watering now so let's make sure that we do that that'd be good oh wait I think my turnips are done yeah my turnips are done happy times happy times we could do some more cooking yay and I could get some more pickled turnips um you know together so that we could be well on our way to oh I uh, did the wrong square <laughs> well on our way to unlocking more cooking dishes that would be awesome but we shall see right okay it looks like my tree is okay and doesn't need watering it looks pretty dead right now doesn't it <laughs> it's just because we're in winter it will like grow leaves and sprout all over again next year and we should actually get produce from it next year as well it's a bit sad that I didn't plan anything more than that. I just like haven't had enough funds or money so I just haven't like you know gotten around to, to doing that. But we'll at least get you know some kind of tree. What did I plant again? I don't remember. Was it apples? I think it might have been an apple tree but I honestly can't remember what I planted. <laughs> And I think if you click on it, it won't actually tell you what it is. So I guess I'll just have to go off of my memory. <laughs> we'll have to see when it comes back round, you know, when it comes back round to next year, I suppose. Oh, I am hungry. I'll feed you in a second. Dude, you just gotta wait a sec. I got more plants to water and more things to do. It's a Vaan day today. So I am excited to sell lots of things to Vaan and hopefully we'll be able to get a bit of money yay okay let's see i'm gonna do i'm gonna eat something we really need to eat something i'll give him one of these little berry things i'm not giving you a pickled turnip today i'm sorry i'm not being that generous today maybe another day i'll give you a pickled turnip <laughs> my dog looks happy today so that's good all right let's cook up some more pickled turnips i wonder how many recipes we've actually made now i'm not not sure but it must be a fair few now okay let's make some pickled turnip I've only got six I actually thought I was gonna get a few more than that but that's okay we'll make like maybe three and then put the rest back in the seed maker that probably would be a great idea so yeah we'll do that let's make another one there we go because we could probably plant some more turnips to be honest because you know you can plant turnips 
I think almost all year round. I think there was only like one season that you couldn't plant turnips in. So yeah, it should be able to, to do that. All right, I got a couple of pickled turnips together. So that's awesome. Yay. I don't think we still have unlocked any cooking recipes just yet, but <laughs> that will come in time. I am sure of it. Okay, so let's get some more seeds. I'm going to put the rest of my turnips in here and we will start the growing process again with these things. I got some more strawberries here that I can plant so that's cool just tomatoes there we'll keep the tomatoes back for now I think all right let's put those in and I have some seeds I think it's carrots so we probably don't want to grow those just yet we'll keep those back that's okay uh, we're gonna need to definitely plant more next year because I didn't really keep a massive amount of like crops back <laughs> I've been using them on cooking and stuff but that's all right okay so we have some strawberry seeds we'll quickly plant these up that would be good all right where are they at okay strawberry seeds let's just double check fall to spring yep so this should be fine to plant we can get rid of these ghastly holes so that's always a good thing hopefully I've got enough no I didn't have enough to cover all the holes no <laughs> that sucks now of course I have to water them as well wherever my watering can is ah I went too far I clicked on the fishing rod by accident <laughs> that's okay Vaughn should be here like soon I think he opens at 12 so not too much longer I might go and stalk him and see where he goes because I know there's some cutscenes with him I'd really like to trigger that one but I don't know if we'll be able to I don't know I've read in some places that it needs to be raining when he goes into the inner inn so don't quite know if it will work but Vaughn should be here today oh look there he is he's coming down from the hill <laughs> he's coming down over there so that's cool to see I don't know if the dig site will be open today it's too early anyway Carter's up there doing his weird thing shall we talk to him whilst he's doing his weird thing what do you think he'd say would do you think he'd say hey I'm doing a weird thing right now don't disturb me <laughs> Everybody needs their time to do weird things. Hey, good morning. It's a little cold, but I'm still happy. Then again, I'm always happy. You're a strange guy. If you want to help out, talk with me at the dig site. It may snow here on occasion, but it never sticks. Okay, I don't think he has any new dialogue, sadly. Shall we go into the tent? Maybe Flora is in here, and we'll go see if we can chat with her. That'd be nice. Hello, Flora. Welcome. You must have come quite a ways. Oh, you... Oh, you helped with the dig? Sure, I've helped lots of times with the dig. Oh, you're not here to help with the dig? Um, make yourself at home, I guess. <laughs> I mean, are you even open today? <laughs> I don't even know if you're actually opening the dig site today. Oh, okay, I guess that's all the dialogue she's got for me today. I like the music in the, the like, tent. It's kind of, like, mysterious. Maybe we should go speak to Mufu Muf 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 Muku Muku even. I cannot talk today. <laughs> Maybe we should go speak to him. I haven't really spoken to him much. Not that he really says very much at all. We could give him a gift though. That would be kind of cool to see what he would do. Um, Maybe I wonder what he would, how he would react if you like showed him items. I've never actually tried that so I might actually try that and see if he has any reactions to it. Actually that would be kind of cool. Okay Murray is up here as well alrighty do you think these two are friends what happens if I show him a, a milka mo fu mo fu mo 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 fu <laughs> it's like he's doing the moo sounds <laughs> what does Murray say moi what's that he doesn't know what it is apparently <laughs> okay what about let's see what I've got I don't know I got a tool here a weird hoe what do you think of this Mufufa! It looks like he got excited. What's that? Murray doesn't know what a hoe is, apparently. What about some clippers? Do you know what clippers are? I don't like that. What? Why? Mufufa! I don't think um, that dude is going to have too much reaction, to be fair. What about a brush? What do you think of that? What's that? Okay, what about a fishing rod? You like to fish, right? I don't want that. What? <laughs> 
<laughs> How rude! How rude! Alright, what about you? No. Okay, it doesn't look like we're going to get much out of them, but that's alright. <laughs> It was just a little random thing I wanted to do. Okay, let's see where Vaughn goes. He might just go straight and set up shop or he might go into the inner inn. So we'll go see where he goes today. How you doing, Vaughn? Are you having a good day today? I hope you are. All right, let's have a little chat. Good morning. Even in this cold, I still sweat from walking here. Oh my, the snow never sticks here. Yeah, sadly. I can't really do much business when it's cold. But, like, there is a bit of snow. Like, it's settled, like, on the edges and, like, on the mountains. There's a bit, but not, like, a massive amount for sure. Is he going in? Oh, he's turning. He's turning. Let's see if anything happens if we go in at the same time as Vaughn. Hopefully we get something. That would be cool. Oh, oh, I got it. Hey, <laughs> nice. This thing called effort is really quite amusing. I don't feel so well. What? What's going on? <laughs> I'm so confused by this conversation. Oh, Moti, you came at just the right time. I did? Okay. That's good. What's going on here? I was just about to tell Kit... I was just about to tell Tim how... The Matkins diet Romana told me to try it turned out. Okay, and how did that go for you? What did it go well? At first, I wondered if it would work. You're supposed to walk around your room with your eyes closed and open and close your hands. What? <laughs> you do this two times a day. <laughs> okay. According to the recent reports, this is the best diet out. I'm not quite sure about how effective that is, Vaughn. After 10 days of doing this, I went to go weigh myself. Okay, boy, was I surprised. I lost 20 pounds. I guess all that walking into walls helped after all. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, we got two dialogue options here. Okay. The scale is wrong. <laughs> oh my. Are your eyebrows okay? I feel like you have something wrong with your eyebrows. <laughs> Imagine if your eyebrows just vibrated uncontrollably like that. <laughs> oh my god, I think we've definitely upset him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, I think he got over it. Maybe you're right. Oh no, now I feel bad. I thought it was the effect of the diet, but... <sighs> oh, fun. <laughs> Oh my god, this game like seriously guilt trips you if you choose a mean option in this game. <laughs> That's like the second time I've been guilt tripped now. <laughs> you can't pick mean options in this game. It makes you a bad person. <laughs> Alright, well, congratulations. Thanks a lot. I'm going to stick to this diet for a while. <laughs> Tim should give it a try too. Why is Tim angry? So hungry. If I can do it, anyone can. <laughs> Whoops, I almost forgot to tell Romana my results. I'll be seeing you around then. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, why is Tim hungry? Do you think he's trying the diet as well? I wonder. Uh, thanks for coming, Mosi. I've seen strange dishes. Uh, yes, I, I've seen you talking about those lots of times. I've seen things you wouldn't believe. I'm sure you have, you crazy guy. Well, that was cool. Um, I wasn't actually sure if I was going to, like, get that cutscene. So, that's really cool. I didn't think we were going to get many more, but still unlocking some, slowly but surely. Where did Vaughn go? He's, like, disappeared. <laughs> I was kind of hoping you would set up shop. Dude, I think we've just got to wait for him a little bit. Oh, there's some flowers down there. That will give us something to do whilst we wait for Van to set up shop. I think that would be a great idea. There's lots of little flowers down here. So let's go and grab those. And we can sell these as well. 
and make even more money that would be fantastic and hopefully we'll be able to give Murray a little bit of money as well <laughs> I feel really bad I haven't been able to give him any money recently so I feel quite bad about that the poor little guy <laughs> okay give me all these flowers that would be amazing all right there we go get these ones not too many more to collect I wonder if the turtle is round by the pond there's like this little turtle that has like this red like bandana tied to him I don't know who put that bandana on him but there are quite a few like little animals like that where they have like bandages and like little things tied to them that clearly somebody has put on them for whatever reason so I wonder who is helping all the animals in forget-me-not valley very mysterious maybe it was the harvest sprites you know I wouldn't be surprised if it was the harvest sprites to be honest with you all right there we go got all the flowers happy times okay i guess um oh it looks like van is almost ready is he gonna set up shop now where did you come from did you go to the villa <laughs> okay that's a bit weird i can't really do much business when it's cold yes you can don't be silly look murray is waiting for his money so come on man set up shop already so i can sell some stuff so i can give it to murray look he he's got his he's uh, giving the puppy dog eyes he really wants his moolahs <laughs> okay i think he's going to set up shop now i just gotta be patient i think he sets up at like one or something where are you going he walked past it what <laughs> where are you going <laughs> i want you to set up shop what are you doing it's shop day why are you going in there <laughs> I'm so confused. Oh, he came straight back out. That was weird. <laughs> that was so weird. I guess he's going to go set up shop now. What was the point of that? I don't know. <laughs> I'm so confused. Where are you going, Lumina? Oh, Malty, hello. Something white falls from the sky in this season. Exciting. I know, right? The snow doesn't stay on the ground in this area. I know it sucks. I wonder what it'll be like when the snow falls. Well, the snow has already fallen, my friend, and... Uh, uh, not too much happened I'm afraid can I talk to Gustafer maybe he's like hiding in the in here how do I get in there can I get in there okay yay finally Havan is opening up his shop at last oh my gosh okay we have to sell some stuff quick before Murray decides oh no Murray's not begging anymore that's how long you took Van. gosh I was hoping to give some money to him but he's left no <laughs> we'll have to give him money another day instead I guess that sucks okay well we've got a lot to sell so let's start selling and see how much much money we get from all of this is gonna be a lot I think okay let's see what else we got here I got four of these fish they don't sell for too much 20g each so not a massive amount but we'll sell them anyway and see what we get all right there we go we're gonna sell even more I hate that he just like goes off the menu every time so annoying all right I got six of these oh my gosh that's quite a lot of fish for sure let's sell all of those 180 is not bad just for some tiny fish so I would say that that was pretty decent actually okay let's see what else we got here I got some more fishies let's see I could sell these coins they don't sell for much either but we'll sell them anyways um I'm hoping that I get a decent supply of money but I'm sort of like not I don't know now because everything I've got just doesn't sell for like a massive amount so now I'm like oh I don't know if I'm actually gonna make that much <laughs> I've got no idea um actually oh we could sell these trick blues we might get a decent amount for these maybe because I got quite a lot of them so let's see 180 I guess that's okay I'm hoping to at least make it to a thousand that would be great but we'll see what happens okay let's get rid of these amorous plants how much are these 10g as well not too much let's sell all of those we don't need them 380 is pretty good it's pretty decent actually yeah we made it to a thousand at the very least so that's good okay let's see what else i got maybe let's get rid 
of hmm I guess I guess I'm just gonna get rid of the fish and the last couple of like things from the dig site and that's gonna be about it not as much as I was expecting actually I thought it was gonna make a lot more but sadly no but that's okay we've still got a few more things to sell and then I don't really know what we're gonna do I'm not even sure if the dig site is open today so I guess we'll just have to like go and check or something I don't really know or I could do some conversing with some villagers today that would be good all right I think we only have one more day until a festival so I really want to participate in the festival tomorrow that'd be really cool okay human statue I've got here let's get rid of that it's time consuming doing it one at a time like this isn't it <laughs> it takes such a long time <laughs> but we'll get there we'll get there I think there's only one more thing to sell now it's just this sort of skull fossil thing oh I've got five of them I didn't know I had that many actually oh this is gonna get us a nice bit of money actually let's sell all of those 250 Ooh, nice that was pretty decent yeah that was not a bad supply of money are you selling anything probably not but no I just wanted to check <laughs> okay uh never mind I have nothing else to sell or buy from you so we're going to leave it at that I think that would be a good idea Okay, so what to do now? I guess I'll go and see if my plants need watering. I'm not sure if they do or not. I don't think that they do, actually. Let's see, what is the day today? The day is the third, so I still got a couple of days until the festival, I think. So we've got a little while to go actually. I think I'm just gonna sleep ahead a little bit actually. We'll just just go ahead just so that we can go to the festival. So I'm gonna feed my dog. Let's put this little berry in here for my dog. All right, there you go. <laughs> and we're gonna sleep through the rest of the day <laughs> just to move ahead just a tiny bit faster. I think that would be good because it's gonna take a while otherwise. So let's just go to bed there we go it's uh we only got bubbles i guess my character was hungry when you go to bed in this game you get like a different like picture depending on the condition of your character so the bubbles i think is not like not the best i think it's probably the worst condition and then there's one where your character is like surrounded by fruit i think that's probably one of the best ones so yeah that's a good one okay we're gonna go sleep again and we'll see what time we make we wake up 2 a.m i'm not waking up at 2 a.m we'll go sleep one more time and then I think we'll probably continue on from from this point I really hope oh Mosey we've got a new friend come quickly come here come here is it the cow oh my god please be the cow please be the cow oh at last oh I just like was so waiting for this like it was taking such a long time I'm so glad this has finally popped what should we name this little one thinking of a good name it's a girl so it gotta be something really cute she's gonna need a really cute name oh we got a girl okay what should we call this one I think that we should call this cow Spot because I feel like this cow has got some interesting little spots on it actually. It's really cute. I really like it. Look how cute the little cow is. It's so adorable. I wish I could put him, I wish I could put her next to her mum but I can't put the feed box there. Spot? That's a good name. Let's be friends. Let's be friends. Yay. <laughs> so adorable. Spot. We'll put Spot in the calf hutch. I'll put it inside for you. I'll put the baby inside for you. Oh okay. We'll get to explore that tomorrow I think we're going to stop the episode here for now but I hope you enjoyed I just want to say a huge thank you to all of my Patreons and members for supporting the channel thank you so much I really appreciate it and if you are interested in donating there will be a link in the description box below to my Patreon page alternatively you can also click the big join button underneath every video that I create to become a member of the channel thank you so much for watching please comment rate and subscribe and I hope I'll see you next time.